All right, back into Star Pack. Still working on trying to get some more tier five and six five of a kinds in there. Um, it's pretty tough going. Uh, a lot of the, I mean, the early fives in this pack are a lot easier because you can very easily set up to have a full team of strawberry units and then you're just looking for shoe bill and it's basically just playing the early game over and over until you get the shoe bill. However, with the, the later ones, you really don't have the space to do that. And so I think the double swap is pretty necessary. I've mentioned that in other videos. And here I've got the yak and the jellyfish going in order to potentially have two units that I can swap with level three frog. Um, koala yak can scale quite quickly if you get enough of them early. But having the koala in the team is um, really punishing because its stats are so horrendous. It's kind of wild that, you know, you've got a pet that has a terrible ability, but it also has horrendous stats as well. Um, so here we get the level up on the yak and uh, that um, activates the clownfish, but I'm just going to sell it in order to get two koalas in because then with this other crow, I'm going to be able to level the koala and trigger the jellyfish as well because we got to focus on having two strong units that we can, uh, that we can transfer stats over on. I think I was pointing at that person's username because it was the same person that I'd lost to in the previous game. Um, you, the the Star Pack uh, community is very small at this point. At least the uh, the top bracket is anyway. There's so few teams that I play against. It's the same names over and over. Although sometimes it is nice when you get matched with people that you recognize. I can't remember if there are any in this run, but um, I guess we'll see. So I get the first Husky here. And I don't know if I'd already decided I was going to go for five Huskies or not, but Husky is kind of strange because you see it far more often in custom packs than you do in uh, in Star Pack itself because it really has almost no usable synergies in this pack. Um, you've obviously got Reindeer, um, but you get Reindeer so late that generally you're using Stego, you're either transferring stats to the reindeer with um, Frog, or you're using Stego to put buffs onto the reindeer that way. Um, and I guess, what well, I'm trying to think, what are the other ones? Are there any others? Maybe there is, and I just can't think of it off the top of my head, but the problem with Husky in this pack is that, um, you know, the end game you're, is basically all about Pepper and uh, Coconut. And having hu multiple huskies is going to be a pretty big barrier to that. And here I actually make a, a strange mistake with the position of the frog. I'm not sure what I was thinking about there. Um, I accident. Yeah, you can see um, obviously I didn't realize I'd left it in the wrong position because it's a level 3, not a level 2. A lot of the time I am playing with a level 2 frog instead of level 3. And we end up actually losing that one m m uh, barely. So I think here Koala is done and we're actually going to use the second husky to level up here rather than try and separate them already and i think i'm gonna transfer with the frog now and yeah we'll just take a stork just for one turn um i, th I think uh, i've been doing that more often recently a lot of the time i just roll down but it's sometimes you know better to have the gold on the next turn and also the the extra unit gives you the chance a bigger chance to survive and we're also gonna have a little bit extra gold because we're selling the yak now. And thankfully there's a husky in the starting shop, which is amazing. So we can bring that in and immediately position the frog to transfer the stats. And here's another husky. However, as you can see, the, the turn is 11 now. So we're basically at this point committing to have no equipment for m multiple double digit turns, which is extremely risky. And um, I didn't mention at the beginning, but Five Huskies has been done in custom packs by multiple different channels. Um, it's been done in uh, weekly. However, I haven't seen anyone do it in um, in, pa in Star Pack itself. And I mean, I guess that is the reason why, because it's just so risky um, at this point. So we get another Husky in the starting shop. And now you might think, you know, oh, just buy some food, buy Zebra or whatever. Well, it's definitely worth rolling down for the Husky because the husky itself is going to receive plus five five from the other huskies and it's also giving plus four four in total so you're getting plus nine nine if you find it early enough um 
So we were quite lucky there to get it on the last roll. And here's actually going to be a tie. Often it can be extremely frustrating to get a draw when you're this late because it feels like your, your odds of uh, winning are just, um, you know, plummeting even further because you're going to have to go even later on. However, when you're on one heart, um, you know, you'll take anything really. So we're going to move one of the Huskies to the front, one of the weaker ones to the front to um, potentially break pepper or coconut. Um, but we still have no equipment turn 13, which is extremely uh, risky. And we actually end up breaking the reindeer's melon, which is very nice. I kind of forgot about that as another possibility. Um, so there's a pepper. And I think at this point, uh, I feel like I've already had good enough luck that I can't really risk it anymore. Now, it is kind of a, a weird situation with five huskies where you're you're kind of playing chicken, um, trying to decide how long you can go without buying the pepper. But then there's also the weird consideration of should you put pepper on the larger units or the smaller units? Because a smaller unit with 25 attack can trade with a 50-50 with pepper. Um, However, if the uh, you know if a forty something attack unit survives because of pepper, it could potentially kill two opposing forty health units. Um, so it's really a very strange kind of uh, um, way that this pack evolves towards the end. Um, and really, it's no surprise that everyone just goes for as many peppers as possible or. Um, level 2 Velociraptor. Here we actually get matched with um, Swordfish. So although it instant deletes one of the Huskies, it's actually okay because they're also deleting one of their units. And we have quite a lot of big units to spare because although you can get quite extreme scaling in this pack, you don't see too many teams that are this heavily wide scaled. So I've got another Husky here. I find another one so we can get another level two next turn. So I'm gonna give the level two the pepper because that means we're still getting, you know, we're maximizing the buffs that are being uh, uh, generated. Um, and then we can actually get another level two next turn. Although a lot of them are actually getting to the point where the scaling is less of an issue and it's more about making sure we get pepper. I think this is more kind of typical. So there's an opposing Husky team. They've tried to scale the reindeer up, but it's just far too slow. Um, probably better trying to use uh, Stego and um, give equipment to everything else. So we take the level up here. I you maybe could have I maybe should have rolled once there before taking the level up in case I got Pepper because it would have been better to buy Pepper than buy the uh, the second Husky. Um, uh, here's a, a team with it does have Pepper, but um, not on the biggest unit. Uh, not entirely sure why there, but um, yeah, if you've got a gigantic strawberry unit, really you should just be rolling down for a Velociraptor. Um, and I think we get another pepper here, yep. And we'll put it on the front husky. Again, maybe you could justify putting it on the one of the 50 attack ones and putting it up front, but um, we've already, we just faced Woodpecker a second ago. And here you get, I get matched with the absolute rarity, which is a turn 18 team with no equipment whatsoever. Um, not sure what they were doing, but uh, maybe they just got unbelievably unlucky and didn't roll any Velociraptors.